I chilled out. I played some Territorial.io, which I've been really into recently. And then, more importantly, I decided it was time to go and get exercise because I've been laying around. Gretchen is okay, kinda. It's kinda okay. Thank you for the 10. I'd been laying around a lot. And I was... And I was bored. And I was... I, I wanted something to do to, like, take my mind. So I decided I was going to go to the gym. So I got... I got changed. Uh, stepped out of my door. Shut my door behind me. Now, if you don't live in the UK... Uh, I know you probably have this in other countries too, but from when I was in America, no one had this. But um, in the UK, doors automatically lock behind you. When you shut the door, they lock. You don't have to, like... You don't have to lock it with the key. So um, I step out my door... Shut the door and immediately break down onto my knees with my face in my hands because I just shut my key in the fucking house. So I go and have the most, the most, like, the most kind of like distracted gym session where I'm just thinking, how the fuck am I going to get home? Like, how am I going to get into my house tonight? So I, I, I get, I only, I'm only there for like 20 minutes before I'm just like, fuck it, I need to go home. So I cycle home and I get, and I get back at about 1 a.m., and I go, I Google like, like locksmiths, like 24 hour locksmiths. And I, I just call that. I literally just click the first one and call it. And this phone gets answered like, uh, and I'm like, hello, I've locked myself out of my house. And the voice just like, postcode. and so I give them my postcode and then they're like, oh, it's going to be 20 minutes. I'm like, what? And they just like, it's obviously someone had been like, had the phone next to them. I was just like, <laughs> like woken up by my call. Anyway, eventually, an hour passes, and um, this car rolls up. This guy gets up. Now I've I've gotten locked out before. Now sidetrack. We're gonna do a side story here. Uh, I was once staying with my ex uh, at her house while I was supposed to be looking after it while her parents were out. I was like because she had work to do and stuff and they couldn't just leave the house uh, like open. So I was there to look after the house. And I did the exact same thing. On the very first hour that my girlfriend's parents left, I stepped out the door and shut it behind me. And I <laughs> I completely I, I fucked it basically. So um so essentially I called up a locksmith and he came round and he like he like examined the door and was like, "Okay, we're going to need to drill it." So he drills into the evasive and I'm like, fuck. So he drills out the lock and for free, he replaces the lock for me and he gives me the new set of keys. And then my girlfriend's parents or my ex's parents had to, had a nice surprise when they got back from their holiday and me being like, new keys for the house. I've changed the locks. <laughs> but anyway, so they drill, he drilled out the lock. But the reason he drilled out the lock was because there was no letterbox and the door opened like inwards onto a staircase. So he couldn't like, he couldn't like pressure it in, right? Sorry, it opened outwards, so he couldn't, like, jam it out. Anyway, so I call up the guy, and he arrives at about 2 in the morning. I'm just sat in the... By the way, it's fucking freezing in the UK right now. It was raining, it was cold. I was sat outside my house, and he shows up, and he looks at the door for five seconds and goes, I'm gonna have to drill. That's the drill. I'm gonna have to drill that one. We are not drilling. We are not drilling out my lock at two in the morning. I am not going to be drilling. <laughs> I was like, no fucking way. No fucking way. Everyone's saying girlfriend. It was an ex. <laughs> it was an ex. This was when I was about 20 years old. So like five, six years ago. Anyway. He's like, we're going to drill out the lock at two in the morning. Mmm... So, I, do you know what I just fucking say? I just go, no. I just go, no. Because, like, he draws out the lock and then I'm just in an unlocked house for for all night until I can get locksmiths and chat. No one told me this, but there's two Boxing Days in England. Today is Boxing Day Part 2. Like, like for today and yesterday, everything's shut, right, for Boxing Day. So, not only would I have been locked out of my house, not only would I have had no lock on the door, but I wouldn't be able to get it replaced until literally like tomorrow because of the fact that like literally tomorrow, like the 29th because of the fucking door. So I say no, I just say no. And he go and he goes, okay. And I pay him for his time because he drove out at one in the morning. I, I give him, I give him, a, I give, it's about 50 quid for him to come out, which is, I guess, fair enough. Like I, 
I felt a bit steep, but I was like, it's one in the morning. I just made him drive out here. It took him an hour. So yeah. You woke this man up for fuck all. Look, he made 50 quid. He's all right. He made 50 quid. Yeah, I tell him no. He hops in his car and leaves, right? And one of the main reasons I sent him back as well, chat, not just because I didn't want to drill into my house. Chris, me quick. Thank you for the 20. I didn't, not just because I wanted to like drill into my home, but also, also just because I, I just didn't want to, I just, I, I, I didn't trust it. You know, <laughs> like it was like, I think the quote was something like almost like posting on 180 quid just to drill into the house. So I was like, yeah, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. I, I feel like it's not, I feel like that's not real. I feel like it's not right. So, um, so I called up my friend, I called up David, you know, David from Soot House. I say, David, he's awake. He's playing Minecraft. <laughs> and I say, David, and he's like, yeah, I, go, I need, can I sleep on the sofa, please? <laughs> I can't get in my house. And he's like, okay. So I sleep on David's sofa. Uh, which is like a, it was like a good distance walk from my house. So I walk all the way to David's house <laughs> in two in the morning in the rain. And I go, I go to sleep on his sofa and th and I set, I set and I get there about 3am and I fall asleep at about four. And then I wake up at eight. So I've been awake since 8am today, chat. I wake up at eight and I immediately call up like the estate agent to be like, do you have a spare set of keys? Completely forgot it's fucking double boxing day. There's a, like everyone gets the day off, which it makes sense because Christmas, I guess, was on a weekend. But like, I I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. So I can't call them. Call up the first locksmith, and they're like, press one if you live in the north. Press two if you live in if you live in the Midlands. Press three if you live in Wales or the south of England. So I hit three, and it's like, press press one if you live in central or south London. Press two if you live in Wales. Press three if you live in Cornwall or Plymouth. Press four if you and he keeps going there. He says, "Press six if you live on the south coast." So I press six, and then it goes, "Press one if you live in the north." Press two. And I just fucking hang up. I'm like, "Okay, that's broken." So then I call up another one, and the bloke's like, "Why are you ringing me? It's Boxing Day." And I'm like, "I just, I'm lock. I need a locksmith. I need a lock. Just break into my house for me, please." Also, by the way, chat. How do they know? How do locksmiths know? Like it's your house? Because like, every time I've had a locksmith come over, they never check. They never ask. They never go. They never go like, oh, come, how, is this your house? Like, they don't even ask, like, is this your house? They don't ask. They just go, yeah, you want me to fucking, yeah, I'll bring crowbar. There you go. In, in you go, mate. <laughs> it's like, it's just like, oh, yeah. What, if this is your house, what number is it? Oh, it's number, um, number seven. Yeah. <laughs> of what street? This street. Number seven, this street. Sounds good to me fucking breaks in for me oh yeah and while you're doing that it's also next door uh that's also my house and the door after that's also my house uh just, i'm just walking out with a tv under my arm like yeah that one's also my house and that one anyway <laughs> so eventually eventually chat i meet the love of my life i meet my savior my my king amongst men oh chat my king my king i ring him up his name is Gaz. I ring him up and I say, Hello, I'm locked outside my house. And he goes, All right, where are you? I give him my address. And he says, What kind of door is it? I tell him the kind of door. He says, Does it have a letterbox? I tell him if it has a letterbox or not. And he's just like, Which way does it open? I tell him which way it opens. And he goes, Yeah, I'll do it. He says, oh, 60 quid, I'll be there in an hour. And I'm like, Cool. He arrives in 20 minutes to my door, goes up to it, in five minutes, without a drill, just with a stick. He uses a stick. He opens the door. And he goes, cheers, mate. And he drives off. And I'm just, oh, oh, chat. My king, the love of my life, Gaz. We stand, Gaz, chat. He fucking saved me, chat. He saved me. When no one else, when everyone else was having their boxing day, he arrived in a big red van and he was smiley and he was the cheeriest guy and he greeted me, he gave me this elbow bump because he's COVID conscious and he's wearing a mask. And he just, he just fucking uses a stick and just gets the door open in literally five minutes. And I say to him, I said to him, it's crazy. Last night, a guy looked at it and told me it needed to be drilled into. And, and then the guy just looked at me and goes, nah. You just need someone with the right toolkit, mate. Anyway, have a nice morning. And he just leaves. I'm like, Gaz! <laughs> you legend! 
I haven't been in my house for uh, almost uh, like 16 hours. And he's just, and he just walks up and just goes, Eve Street, thank you for the 10. Yeah, we stand Gaz, chat. Stand Gaz. <laughs> I cannot recommend them enough. I cannot recommend them enough. Good job, Gareth. <laughs> Stick, how's that work? I don't fucking know. He had like these, he had like these um, little sheets of plastic that he like jammed into the, he like got these sheets of plastic and put them in the door and he got this stick and like wibbled it and it just went boop, it just opened. He was like, he was like a mastermind. He had like magic hands. We love Gaz. <laughs> we love Gaz. So yeah, that's, I got locked outside my house. That's how I got locked outside my house, chat. <laughs> 